Hi guys, welcome back for another video. My name is Emily. If you are new here, um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I, today, am going to tell you guys about the pests I've been dealing with and how I am controlling them. So, I have been dealing with thrips and a little bit of mealybugs. So, I'm going to show you guys those and tell you guys about how I am dealing with them. So, the first thing that I did, so I've released ladybugs once into the house already. So, it just comes in a bag of 250. You can see them all crawling around in there. Um, I'm going to release those throughout the house and that's going to be my first or that's kind of my first and second method of prevention. It's more preventing them rather than controlling them. So I'll show you that. Okay, so you can see them all crawling in there. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to shake some out onto the plants. Um, I do have like you can see some ladybugs over here. Like, I do have ladybugs out already, but I have a cat. As you know, if you are subscribed, you would see my cat. His name is Biggie, and I've decided that he likes to hunt the ladybugs, is pretty much what I think he does. So he'll hunt them, and... Come on. Oh, I'm not even showing you guys. Scoop some out of there. Fly out of there. Um, so I'm also going to put some into my bins. So these are my propagation bins. Josh's hats there. Um, this is my new plant bin, which I'm going to tell you guys about some of those in the next video. So we're going to, maybe it'd be easier if I pulled that little thing out. Let's do that. Oh, it's stuck on the vacuum. I'm cleaning. It's a cleaning day today. There we go. Let's pull this out. I can't do this one handed. Oh, okay. Oh, that's so much easier. Okay, shake some of those onto there. We're gonna close this lid and then we're gonna do it into this one as well. This one has all of my propagations in it. So I'm just gonna shake those out and then I think the rest are just gonna stick straight into the bathroom. You can see them, they're like crawling everywhere. So my cat Biggie, who is right here. Say hi Biggie. Um, he likes to hunt the ladybugs, is kind of what I've decided. So he hunts them and decides that they are his prey, of course, because he was an outside cat for however many years. So he just hunts them and he tries really, really hard to catch them. And a lot of the time he succeeds. There it is. Look how pretty you are. Can you go on to here? There you go. I have one on the back of my leg. Ah, oops, he fell down. Um, yeah, we're just gonna, I'm just gonna leave this bag in here. This is where my, the most of my pest plants are. So like, I think I found them originally on this one. So you can see, so the way you can tell that it's thrips is, I don't know if it really shows up on video, but you can see how there's like a discoloration almost, oops, sorry, through out here. And then on the back, you can normally see little white things running around, but I've pre been pretty good about like wiping them off lately. So I don't know if they're, I'm gonna be able to find any, but. So yeah, thrips are like, they, yeah, they just like, what they do is they go in and they suck out the juice basically from inside the leaf. So it's like the nutrition part of it. And then they leave these horrible markings all over your leaves and eventually will kill the plant. I'm trying to find a really good example. I don't know if you can see this sort of right here, this like square right there. Yeah, so you can sort of see how like the coloration on this is like not correct. It's because it's like sucked all the nutrition out of the leaves. And they're like, they're soft, they're not hard. He's rooting, working on rooting. So everybody is in here. So now you can see all the ladybugs crawling around. There's 250 that I just released, oops but the cat eats them. So honestly, I'll see those for like 24 hours and then they'll all disappear. Bought this plant, I quarantined it. It stayed in quarantine for two weeks. I had sprayed it and I still got thrips on it. It's the only plant that I have found thrips on and I have no idea why. I've So I went through with a Q-tip and rubbing alcohol to start with to get it off. And I individually went through every single leaf and checked every single one and got rid of any of them that I could see. 
So I did that first and then I have now quarantined them and they are getting, they've, I've been spraying it as well. So what I've learned about mealybugs is that they will, they can stay on the plant for four to six weeks without you even knowing because they're not mature enough for you to see. So I think that's why I did not notice them at first. So that's what I am currently dealing with. So the next thing I did is I used, um, I, where I live, there's a girl named Cassie. She makes this spray. We call it the Cassie Chaos Spray. It is basically essential oils, neem oil. What else is in it? Rubbing alcohol and a few other things. So basically I use that. I sprayed it all over every single one of my plants on my shelf. So I took every single plant off yesterday and sprayed every single one just to be safe. So I sprayed every single one of these plants on this shelf, including these and my Monstera, everything that's on there, cause I'm going to repot some of those. Um, I sprayed everything just as a precautionary measure because I have no idea what had it on there and what didn't. Everything that I actively saw thrips on, I have in the bathroom. So I just sprayed everything else as a precautionary measure just to make sure that there isn't any thrips on it. I also found two massive spiders in two of my plants. So that was really fun to come home to. One of them had like built, I have this elephant planter. So he had built, he was inside the, inside the plant and then had built this nest all over the elephant planter, all over, this plant was not here before, all over that elephant. And then this cord was also like strung around the elephant. So it was all over. It was this massive spider and he had this nest all happening up there. So I'm happy that Josh came home and killed them <laughs> cause I don't do well with spiders. <laughs> So basically just to sum that up because it was a little bit rambly for the ladybugs i released them just as a precautionary measure i know that they aren't going to be able to eat every single thrips or any you're pawing at me they're not going to be able to do that so i do it as a precautionary measure when there's no food source they'll die so you know that you don't have any pests when the ladybugs are gone basically so that's fine. So we're just gonna let them do their thing. Plus Biggie is going to um, attack most of them anyways and try to eat them. So <laughs> that's okay. Um, the way to tell, I'm gonna, in, maybe I'll try to find some pictures to insert because my photos aren't very good. Um, but the way you can tell is that there's like markings on the leaves. That is what the thrips basically leave behind because they suck the juice out. So then there's like these markings of like, Mealybugs apparently do sort of the same thing. I haven't done a ton of research on mealybugs. I've never dealt with them before. I've never dealt with thrips before either, but the mealybugs I only found on the variegated string of hearts plant. So because of that, I didn't do a ton of research on it. I just know from my friends telling me to use a Q-tip and rubbing alcohol to pull them off and then making sure you're checking it multiple times a day just to make sure you don't miss any because it's always, ah, I went to pet him and he's attacking my hand. Don't bite, be nice. Um, yeah, so that's what mealybugs do, or yeah, mealybugs do. Um, mealybugs are these little like kind of white looking things with legs and they produce like a white, it, it almost looks like a small spider's nest to me. It's like a little white ball and that's where they lay their eggs. So if you can get rid of all of that, that is the best thing to do. He just wanted to cuddle apparently. Um, well, that is all I have for you guys today. So thank you so much for watching my video. Um, if you made it all the way to the end, leave me a little bug emoji. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next week with another video. Say bye. last up can un so what i've learned about what oh fuck